Hi, I'm Bronwyn Walsh, and you're on Native Ground. Welcome to the Sundance Circuit 2013 red carpet premiere of We Are What We Are. Hi. Hi, Wyatt. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Where are you from? I'm from L.A. Moved to Vancouver. Moved, to, moved, to, moved all around, but mostly from L.A. So what role do you play in this movie? I play Anders, the deputy, <clears throat> who uh, is the unassuming kind of nice guy. Don't know what happens to him. And uh, and uh, I guess I can't tell you too much, but nice guy. <laughs> you got to keep it a mystery, like you're chilly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what were some of the challenges you faced in, um, you know, acting in acting that role? Um, you know, one of the one of the things that you know, I guess I could start out that, that was nice about it was uh, the ability to for for uh, Jim to let the actors kind of act naturally. So whenever there was a challenge, uh, you could fix it, <clears throat> and you could fix it relatively easily by talking it out with him. Because the themes, although maybe when you watch it, complex and weird uh, and strange and and, and funny, uh, they, they were simple. He always made things simple for you. So whenever you came across a problem where it was like, you know, that doesn't work, or uh, I didn't, I, he's not feeling it, or I'm not feeling it, or whatever, <clears throat> you can you can talk to him, and you could you could you could come to a, a solution pretty pretty easily. Yeah, so what do you hope to accomplish with your audience? With my audience? Yeah, with this film. I don't know what my audience is. Uh, I don't know. I think the audience of this film, like like any kind of family drama or anything that anybody experiences in life, is uh, you come out of it talking about how it relates to your family, even though it might, even though it might not. Um, how it relates to things in your life that you're going through, and it accentuates those things. Obviously, it's a movie; it's it's fun, and you walk away with it feeling. Uh, it's one of those movies that I think you walk away feeling good, even though the movie was a little bit dark. <laughs> and they're my favorite type of movies. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what the audience is going. What was the preparation process like for you? Um, you know what? To be honest, for the, for this movie, I said to, to the other to the other gal over there. I lived in small towns for a lot of my life, and uh, the character kind of represented the, the people that I met and the per person that I felt like I, I may have been uh, if I had lived in those small towns for a longer period of time, or I was born in those small towns. And I related to him. So there was a, a lot of things that felt na really natural and really normal and, uh, and felt like it was okay to say whatever I wanted or do whatever I wanted because you kind of you got into that character naturally and normally and easily. Yeah, because these are ruthless people. Right. Yeah. You know. My, I didn't come across. Uh, I don't interact with them on that level. You know, my my part is is a little bit seeing it through the eyes of another person. Uh, and so my job was to sort of be that be that vehicle. Yeah, be that other person that that you know isn't a part of these people's lives. He he represents the people in the town. They're good people. They're nice people. Super cool. So you're the symbolism of uh, justice in the people, basically. Yeah, I think. You know, I, I I never get I never believe in going too deep into movies. You know what I mean? And, unless they're made to be, and uh, and I don't think this this movie should be thought of as 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 a deep way of thinking about your life. I think it's uh, it takes it's anecdotal in areas because it's so it's 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 crazy. There's there's parts of it where it's like wow, I can't believe what you're watching, and and you won't be able to relate it to your life. And so I think that just having that experience of going in the theater and seeing this is like one of those where it's cool, it's fun, it's going to be like a ride. It's it's, it's a fun time. Yeah. Hey, Wyatt Russell and I am definitely on native ground. Great. Nice to meet you, Wyatt. <laughs> Good luck. Congrats. Hey, Jack. Hi, Jack. How are you doing today? Good. How was it in the film? Was it fun? It was very fun. What character did you play? Um, Rory Parker. Rory Parker. And what is his character in the film? Well, he's sort of like an innocent, sort of, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, so did you make friends with all of the cast? You know them very well now? Yeah. Oh, where are you from? Um, New York City. New York City. How are you enjoying Sundance? Yeah. Is this your first time at Sundance? Mm hmm And you like it? Yep. Well, congrats with the film. Thanks. Hope you have fun tonight. I will. <laughs> so what would you say if I had mystery chili right now and if I were to give it to you? Don't eat it. <laughs> 
So you have you kind of have to have guts to eat the guts if you're a cannibal. My name is Jack Gore and I'm on native ground. All we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. Maybe I could understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they have 